Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather pretty quiet through midweek. Uh, the big story, a blast of very cold air coming in here this weekend and probably some rain to start the weekend as well. Uh, and Thanksgiving week, a lot of questions about that. So let's get in there and see if we can answer all of them. Uh, let's start uh, this morning with a look at the big picture. The water vapor satellite view across uh, the continental United States, and you can see that uh, we got a zonal flow down here. We note a trough developing over the western part of Canada, and that represents a push of very cold air that you'll see in here in just a minute. We're pretty chilly to start the day. In fact, as cold as 30 at Decatur and Gadsden. Uh, Birmingham, though, at 42. Tuscaloosa, 35. And look at the difference between Anniston and Gadsden. 11 degrees. Gadsden, 30. Anniston, 41. Another reason why this is hard to use one number on a uh, cold season morning like this. Around the nation, uh, oh, look up there in uh, western Canada. You can see what's happening. Very cold air coming down the pike. In fact, there's a better representation of that. Uh, we've got some locations below zero now over uh, parts of uh, Montana. And that air is going to keep on coming southeast. And that's going to make our weather turn very cold this weekend. Uh, with the cold air, a little bit of snow falling through parts of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Winter weather advisories there. Otherwise, things are quiet. And the QPF expected for the next five days through early next week. Not very much. Uh, you can see this has really got uh, our part of Alabama with only about a tenth of an inch. And uh, the big number is over Arkansas and Oklahoma and Texas. And I think this is probably right. No doubt we'll see a touch of rain along the way, but I don't think it's going to be a big rain event. Uh, the thing is we kick off the weekend. In the tropics, Melissa, the subtropical storm in the middle of nowhere, and it Stays in the middle of nowhere up in the North Atlantic. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. And again, the flow is basically zonal. And down below that, uh, surface highs over the Northeast United States, kind of a wedging type look. And those can be a little tricky. Uh, we'll forecast a high today around 60 with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Uh, but we have seen evidence of a low cloud deck expanding tonight and maybe even a hint of light rain or drizzle tonight, especially on the eastern side of the state. And I think we'll probably need to mention that in the forecast. So if you live in uh, Anniston or Roanoke or Wadawi, uh, Heflin, uh, maybe Gadsden, you, you might see a little light rain or a sprinkle tonight or early tomorrow morning. This is tomorrow, and again, we've still got that uh, wedging look. And the temperatures tomorrow could very well depend on where you are. Uh, East Alabama, you might stay in the 50s all day. West Alabama, mid-60s. Uh, again, it's just going to be a case of uh, your geographic location. Uh, the clouds could hang tough over East Alabama. The western side of the state would have a partly sunny sky. And again, tomorrow morning, there could be a little touch of light rain or drizzle over East Alabama. So keep that in mind. We'll go to Friday, and here's the deal at 1,050 millibar high coming down the pipe from Canada. That's some very cold air. Got a surface cold front from near Chicago down to Dallas at midday. You can see that batch of showers uh, around Memphis and Little Rock. Uh, but the day Friday should be dry and mild. Uh, the latest guidance now is pushing us up toward a high of 70 on Friday. This is Friday night at midnight, and the band of showers moving in here. And, uh, the timing, uh, you know, it's a big question for the uh, high school football playoff games, but this is suggesting it could be maybe after the games are over, before the rain arrives, but I, I can't promise that. We're going to mention a chance of rain Friday night. We recommend you take the rain gear and keep your fingers crossed, and maybe the rain comes in late. Obviously, the farther south you are, the drier it's going to be Friday night. And again, that 1050 highs into uh, the Dakotas, and this is Saturday at midday. 
A uh, band of showers really falling apart, pushing down into uh, the southern half of the state, becoming windy and turning colder. I could easily see uh, temperatures in the 50s on Saturday morning and falling in the 40s on Sunday afternoon as the cold air begins to rush in. Now, this is Saturday at noon off the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model. It is slower, but the European jives up nicely with the GFS. This is noon Saturday off the European. It's got the bulk of the showers along and south of Interstate 59. So a reasonable chance the showers will be over in time for the kickoff of the Alabama uh, UT Chattanooga game in Tuscaloosa at uh, 1 o'clock Saturday. But again, remember, as the showers end, it turns windy and cold. And I think temperatures will probably fall Saturday afternoon. And this is Sunday. The cold air settles in. It's going to be a cold day. I mean, uh, uh, we'll start the day down in the mid-20s. Uh, still going to be breezy. The, the wind chill index will still be a factor. Uh, here's a look at noon temperatures coming off the European. It's got Birmingham at 43, only 30s up in the Tennessee Valley. I think Huntsville and the Shoals, I don't think they get out of the 30s on Sunday. Where the high down here will be probably somewhere between 42 and 45. And again, the wind is going to make it feel colder. And this is Monday. We'll be well down in the 20s uh, Monday morning. And I think we'll see teens for the colder valleys. But this run of the GFS is faster with this next wave. You can see the surface load developing in the Gulf. And now all of a sudden, look at Tuesday. This is Tuesday at noon. And it's got that surface load just south of Biloxi with a big rain mass over the state. It's basically a day faster than recent runs. Uh, and again, we're obviously within seven days. And no doubt now we're going to have a pretty good rain event before Thanksgiving. Now, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday, you can still debate that, but this run is suggesting it's going to be Tuesday. This is Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve, biggest travel day of the year. Uh, if this is right, a pretty nasty nor'easter will be moving just off the upper Atlantic coast. This could cause some big airport delays in New York City and Boston, uh, and maybe even Washington, D.C., and Baltimore and Philadelphia. So just fair warning, uh, if this timing is correct, that's going to hose those airports up up there and maybe create some big travel issues, uh, especially if you're looping through there. And we turn windy and sharply colder on Wednesday. Uh, highs would drop back in the 40s. Uh, Chicago, very cold. Uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Cleveland, Detroit. The western half of the nation is fairly mild. Here's Thanksgiving Day, and if this is right, the weather here would be cold and dry. We'd start the day in the 20s. Uh, the high would be in the 50s. Uh, but no precipitation of any type on Thanksgiving. Here's Black Friday. We start to warm up a little bit, and this is Iron Bowl Saturday, the, the last day of November, the 30th, and if this is right, the weather would be dry and mild. A great day for that football game. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 5th of December. Uh, it looks cold for the east, doesn't it? Uh, ridging in the west and down below that. Ooh, boy. Ooh, goodness. Now, if this were January, look out now. Surface low in the Gulf, cold air. Coming in from the north, even that would suggest a chance of snow. Now, this is pure voodoo. You know, this is not a forecast. This is 384 hours out. But, boy, that is a snowy look if this were deeper in the season for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.